What's up everybody? It's your boy Will Carter and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. Before we go any further, make sure if you guys are not already subscribed, you are hitting that subscribe button. Turn that bell notification icon on so you get alerted each and every time I make an upload. And if you guys want to check me out off of YouTube, you can check out My Life is Will Carter. I'm telling you, I'm really loving that. But check me out as, <laughs> sorry, on Instagram at I'm Will Will Carter for all things my life as Will Carter. I'm telling you. I'm telling you like I'm really loving it. And don't forget the Signature 2022 collection is available and you can go and get your candle over at queensofgarden.com queensofgarden.com. It is spelled exactly how it's pronounced and it's pronounced exactly how it's spelled. You may not need a link in the bio but there will be a link in there anyway just in case you don't get it. I've been... Where have I been? Well, I haven't really been anywhere. But um, I'll be honest here, I've been kind of busy working on the Signature 2022 collection. You know, like this collection has done a lot better, like performance wise in terms of ka-ching. I've been busy. So I haven't abandoned YouTube. I haven't forgot about YouTube. Trust me, we're here. We're loving it. Now that we're back officially on YouTube, not that I left, I ain't never left. But now that we're recording again and we pick back up filming, we're gonna jump into some candle making related stuff here, starting today with my concrete vessels. So I had to restock on some supplies. One of the things that I needed to restock on was my varnish that I get from Earth Safe Finishes. So I placed an order for a new bottle of varnish and it came like this. Nancy came through with the get through like she always do. Okay, sister? But Inside of my package, I got a little cute gift from Nancy. I got a free sample, which was just absolutely amazing. But I wanna talk about something before I dive deep into the sample and why this video is gonna be all about the sample today. I just wanna like address something really quickly. There's something really um, special about this particular sample that Nancy gave me because it was extremely um, intentional. I don't know how that's translating on camera, but it says for your coffee collection, which means Nancy has to be aware that I have a coffee scented candle and it's brown, we'll talk about that in a bit, but it's brown, which means she knows that I have a brown vessel, which means that she's pretty, pretty in the known of the Queens of Garden's current collection. And I thought this was really special because I, it, it's, it's not like, you know, and this is no disrespect to the flaming candle, but it's not like the flaming candle was like, okay, here's a new order coming in. Let's just throw in, a, a, you know, like a you know two rounds uh, sample fragrance oil or something like that. You know, it's like, hey, this is a customer that we value, so let's give them a sample that actually makes sense towards what they're doing. And for me, this was just amazing. Okay, this bag is cute. Why well, smell my chocolate? So this is the color your Crete. Um, concrete, Crete, okay. Um, pigment from Earth Safe Finishes. Um, a little backstory on this. I saw, I think it was on the Facebook group, I saw Nancy make a post talking about um, creating a new way to color our vessels. Um, because at the time they only had like the liquid pigments. Um, and I was really interested in trying this out when I did see that these launched on the Earth Safe Finishes website, but I never got around to doing it because at the time I was focusing on just my collection. And at that time, I'm like, I'm not really interested in buying anything that's not directly going to my collection. And most of you guys already know that I primarily use um, direct colors, um, powder pigments to color my vessels. And now more recently, I use also um, Earth Pig, uh, what is it, Earth Pigments? Earth Pigments, Lavender. Act like, act like you fucking know. Of course I'm gonna use it. Like, what? how could I not like do this on camera for the first time? Cause I haven't used these yet. I will say this though too. You just gotta be clear. You guys know I'm a big advocate for Earth Safe Finishes for my um, sealer and my varnish. And I love me some Nancy, um, but you know I gotta keep it real. You know, if I don't like it, I'm gonna tell you guys I don't like it. Just like I did when I used their uh, liquid pigment, the uh, magenta color, didn't like it. Um, but we'll see. I don't know if you can see that, but it is, it's liquid and it is a paint. It's like a paint. But the interesting thing is, even though it looks just like paint, it actually says it's um, it's not a paint. It is not a stain. It's strong, concentrated color over concrete to look like it's added. Let's just transition on over to the table where the magic motherfucking happens. 
period. Guys, so we're gonna get started. We're gonna do this. Super nervous about this because like in my mind, I really want this to work, but I don't know if it is. When I was um, kind of shopping around for transfer labels for Queens of Garden, um, I had the factory um, send me a bunch of samples and this is one of the samples they gave me. So I kind of was putting them on my vessel to kind of see how I would like them. And that's how the Queens of Garden um, vessel transfer label was born. Um, but I wonder if this is a real candle company. I'm gonna Google Anais Candle New York. <laughs> I don't know if they're real. Uh, but girl, if you are, I just gave you a shout out, bitch. Cut me a check. Today I'm using these um, brown gloves. Brown gloves. Blue gloves, because I don't wanna fuck my gloves up with this paint, even though they keep saying it's not paint, but girl, who knows? I'm really nervous. Extremely nervous. Okay. I already shook it up, y'all. So I'm gonna just dip it in. Oh, that's a lot. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Oh, I'm just going to paint it on. So I'm not, you know what? I wish I had a photo reference or something to kind of like compare because I'm not even sure what the finished result is supposed to look like. Um, I do know that they keep stressing that it's not a paint. I must've read that like six times. Um, but I don't really know. I'm gonna paint right over this bitch. I don't even give a shit. This is a tester vessel, bitch. Um, so I'm painting over this and it's, I know I'm saying paint, but what else am I supposed to say? Um, this is pretty interesting. So it's not coming out super dark brown, which obviously it wouldn't. I imagine that I'm going to need to use like, I don't know. I think I'm gonna need to use at least like two to three coats to really get the color, but I'm not really sure so far. Um, it looks pretty interesting though. Um, I don't know what to think about this yet. Um, but let's just do one coat so far. All right, so this is one coat and I'm going to just dip and do a second coat right now. But first of all, yeah, let's just do a second coat. Okay, so this is coat number two. And I, as you can see, I didn't give it any time to waste. I jumped right into a second coat, so. All right, I'm actually doing extra dipping because I'm noticing that the coat was lightweight. You know, like a bitch who can't drink her alcohol. Like, or you're a lightweight, like, catch up. You know what this looks like to me? This is actually really cool. You know what this looks like? This looks like like wood. It looks like the vessel was made out of wood. You know how wood is brown, but then you have like those streaks of colors in there? That's what this looks like to me. That's actually really pretty. It's not coming out brown like I thought it was gonna come out, but I really do like this MDF uh, wood veneer finish kind of look. It's not even really veneer, but um, I really do like this wood finished look. That's actually really cute. And I know she said coffee, but if I had like a burning wood, smoky wood, outdoor campfire, I would use something like this. This is really nice. Yeah, I really like this finish. And again, I don't know if this is how it's supposed to come out. If it was supposed to come out like this or if it was supposed to be a complete, I mean, I initially thought it was gonna come out like a full paint color like this. This is clearly not a full paint color. Wow, bitch. Okay, this is very interesting. I'm not, I really kind of like this. Okay, so I want to do one other test, right? Because they say it's not a paint. Let me, I feel like this side here is not really, doesn't really got a lot on it. So I'm going to like just really give, some, give it some extra love. I like how this clean, I like how this looks. Again, it looks like wood, you know? Like it really does look like this was made or, and carved out of wood. You know how they have like the wood workshops? That's what this looked like it was made out of. Sister, okay, hold on. I wanna do a test. Okay, let me see. Wow, it's like nothing there. This like dried super fast. Like, okay, for sure, because of me touching it and the fact that like, oh, it does leave a thumbprint though. Oops, sister. Um, This is definitely not a paint. I don't know what to call this, but it's definitely not a paint. 
Yeah, this is not a paint. I don't know what this is, but there's no way that this is a paint. So I'm going to go on record and say that their comments about this not being a paint is definitely valid because it's not a paint. This is not paint. I don't know what the fuck this is, but it's pretty. I think like I wouldn't use this for my current collection, um, but I would say like if I want to do like a specialty fall candle, like, okay, this is like burning wood fireplace, uh, bitch is giving survivor, lost. Even though like on low key on Survivor, you know damn well they get them they get them food, bitch. They ain't out there fishing, hunting wild bears and shit. Like they got like craft services right behind the camera screen, and they're just probably like, girl, can we get this thing over with so I can fucking eat, bitch? Okay, final verdict. Obviously, you would put your label on either. Um, final verdict is I really like this. It's so pretty to me. It's unique, and I'm telling you, it looks like wood. I feel like if I painted this and I really tried to like do a better job, it would look better. But I said this before, I'm not a painter and I'm never gonna try to pretend to be one. I'm just not a painter. I'm sorry, I'm just not. Um, so even though I really love how this looks, I probably would see if I knew someone who can paint that can kind of like really take advantage of this for me. Because again, it looks like wood. Like that, this, uh, tell me this doesn't look like wood. Um, you definitely would need to apply the varnish on top of this because I don't like the way it feels. In this scenario, you would have to paint the insides because it just wouldn't look good with it one way and not another way. Again, I don't know if this is what the final result was supposed to be. If it was supposed to be this woody color, I had initially thought that it was supposed to be like a full paint finish, right? Like if I was to like paint on it, again, I don't have no gloves on, but whatever. It would be like, just like this, right? Oh damn, my finger. My recommendation is I think you guys should definitely give this a try make a purchase and try this out for yourself because I really think that in the right hand, someone who really knows how to work a brush and someone who really understands like proportions when it comes to painting. And again, it's not a paint, but it's, a, it's applied like one. Um, I think that particular individual can really take advantage of this and really make something beautiful. Um, so see, this is gonna look like wood. That's fucking gorgeous. I have to say that I really do love the idea of introducing new ways to color your vessels. Because right now there's only really like two ways by like adding it into your batter or painting over it. And although that um, the color you create is not considered a paint, I kind of still vibe with it like it's a paint because it's like the same process, you know, dip, paint, blah, 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 whatever. But you know, you call it whatever you want to call it. I think that, um, Again, it's just a good idea to kind of create new ways to color your vessels because when you do that, it allows people to become more creative with what they what they do with their vessels, you know? You can only really do so much when you're using um, color pigments. I still personally lean more towards using the powder pigments. I actually just like that a little bit better. And I don't know if it's because I'm just more comfortable with it, it's easier to measure it out and stuff like that, or if it's just because I know that I'm not a fucking painter and I'm not today and I'm not gonna be fucking tomorrow. So <laughs> I like to stick to what I'm talented at, and that's definitely not painting, but I definitely do like the idea, okay? And now that we're here at the end of this video, as always, you guys know what to do. Make sure if you're not subscribed already, you're hitting that subscribe button because we're getting so much closer to that secret number that's going to initiate another cash prize giveaway. So subscribe to my channel. And also, don't forget, check me out on my Instagram page at I'm Will Carter and go over to queensofgarden.com and shop the Signature 2022 collection supplies are here to last. And with that all being said, I hope you guys have a beautiful good morning, a beautiful good afternoon, and a beautiful good night, whichever part of the world you are living in. Goodbye, guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. All that noise, bitch.